Hey, hi there, Capricorn. Welcome to my channel. I'd like to thank you for tuning in to those energies and influences that are coming through for your weekly reading, September 15th to the 21st. Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, this is a condensed general reading. Please only take the portions that resonate with you. Okay, Capricorn, off camera to save time, I've done a protective blessing. I've meditated over and shuffled these cards just for you. Your first card. It's the general atmosphere. It's the background and the basis of the matter. The Nine of Swords, Capricorn. This is air energy, always representing the thoughts and the mind. This is a high stress card. There's some anxiety and worry. It's about something that you, you want. This is unfounded anxiety. There's low energy and a need to be patient. You'll need to talk about the problems you're burying. Speak up to solve these problems, or it brings regrets and nightmares. This suffering is in your mind. It's a mental torture. There's some required changes needed to be made for a better future. This can be ruined plans and health worries. Steps should be taken to solve these problems, but you are near the end of your mental ordeal. This is a preoccupation with a past experience. It's wisdom and strength gained through experiences. You might be feeling unworthy or overly fearful or worried about the future. You could be overly sensitive to other people's opinions. You might be having nightmares or trouble sleeping because of all the thoughts racing through your mind. You wake up in the middle of the night and then can't get back to sleep because you're just thinking too much. But remember, worrying is pointless unless it drives you to take action. So confront your worries and your fears and take steps to solve your problems. Talk to someone. Write in a journal. See a doctor. If you continue to doubt and fear, they will continue to haunt you. Your second card. And this is the energy that's crossing over your path. Number 20 of the Major Arcana in the Rider Waite deck. Judgment. This can be a Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising... Venus. The rulers are Pluto and the Moon. This represents a spiritual awakening. It's the final settlement of a matter, a clean slate, paying off old debts, and a preparedness for the resurrection of a new beginning. It indicates that things which have lain fallow will come to life, and a reward for past effort will finally be forthcoming. So it will be a time of rejoicing and renewal. This could be an epic decision. Recognizing possibilities, taking stock of your life in relation to where you want to be, looking back to the past and seeing things in a different way. It's a karmic lesson to work through. It's a stage in life which final decisions have been made, a conclusion to the situation. It's a new phase of life about to begin. It's thoughts and actions that have stabilized, and now you can take the next step on your path. Thus, this is a period of reaching out to the next set of goals and opportunities, and you should not delay or indulge in rehashing what has been accomplished. It is finished, and you should simply look upon what, is, what has been done as seeing it as a stepping stone for the future. This is new energy coming forth. And now here's your third card. This is how it affects you. This can be your attitude. The Knight of Swords, Capricorn. Air energy. This can be an Aquarius, a Gemini, or a Libra. Sun, moon, ascendance. This is someone that's impatient. It, this card represents movement and action and communications. It could be uh, a message that comes rushing in. It can create drama. Could be differences of opinion or some kind of a mental conflict. Someone creating drama with or debating or rushing and being impatient. This is someone that's sharp-minded and direct and they're idealistic. Yet they're a great problem solver and debater. And they're not being rash they're being they're rational and they're not being driven by feelings. They're very headstrong and impatient, and their communication is very direct and can be cutting or piercing. This is someone that rushes to judgment, being opinionated, 
They could be trying to win an argument, even driving too fast. You'll need to listen before you charge in. This could be someone who was overly blunt with someone who was sensitive, or it could be news at a bad time in an inelegant manner. I'll give you the um, combination meanings coming up. And now your fourth card. It's the position of the future. It's the outcome, the results, and the, the advice. The Knight of Wands, Cap Capricorn, Fire Energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. This is another card of communication. Knights are also travel and coming or going of matters. This can be a moving, a change of residence. This could be someone Scorpio and Sagittarius. This could be immigration, quick departure. This is eagerness and self-confidence, yet not always knowing where you're going. And without those concrete plans, you can burn out before you achieve your goal. This could be riding towards an encounter. Uh, knights are messengers and travelers, so they could be bring, bringing good news concerning work or social activities. These glad tidings can relate to almost any anticipated happy event, a journey or a vacation, that change of residence or a job or an engagement or marriage. Knights are driven by passion for a cause, and passion is the cause for the Knight of Wands. If it hastens the pulse or spikes the adrenaline or raises the stakes, this knight charges after it. They're often impatient with details, and they're inclined to attract attention, yet they're eager to show what they're made of, and if there's an applause for their efforts, they will happily repeat the performance. There is a lesson to be learned before they can reach maturity. They must temper their appetites with restraint, it is such discipline that separates the journeymen from the masters. Your fifth card, it's the bottom of the deck card. The underlying issue, this is what's unseen. This is really good, Capricorn. This is the Ace of Pentacles. It's a new beginning with money. This is the Gateway card. This is Earth Energy. It's a gift from the universe. That's that healthy new beginning. And you can find some inspiration and joy in nature by grounding yourself. This was the beginning of a new project, a birth, a chance to improve your health, a gift you can use to invest in future gain. This could be the new job opportunity or a chance for promotion. You'll begin building the foundation for the future. This is feeling motivated and ready for a challenge. There's luck and recognition and realization that you're on the correct path. It's focusing, it's focusing on those desired results and a need and a feel a need to focus on practical matter, matters. And you'll need to focus on staying grounded because this helps you to figure out how to make your dreams a reality. The judgment card with the Ace of Pentacles, this is a higher calling, yet grounded in the physical and everything coming together just as you planned. This is becoming conscious of your your opportunities and your challenges, and you gain clarity, and you can make decisions with more confidence. Uh, judgment with the Knight of Wands, this is moving fast. It's success by action, yet it warns against being too hasty. The Judgment card with the Knight of Swords, this is overzealousness, without thought to the consequences. And now your advice from the Oracle deck. Ask your guides by Sonia Choquette. Capricorn, you've got Denial, card number 22, Divine Helpers. Denial. Represents confusion, distortion, ignorance, and compromise. Your Divine Helpers are here to help you take off your blinders and more honestly assess the difficulties in your intimate relationships. Although you'd prefer to believe that ignorance is bliss, the truth that denial is not a river in Egypt, nor is it a genuine form of protection against unhappiness. Your guides gently ask you to summon the courage to honestly admit the real problems that exist in your relationships. As difficult as they may be, until you do so, there's no chance that these shadows will ever heal. So, for example, admit when your wife isn't just tipsy, but rather is drunk, as she may be on many nights. Or admit, at least to yourself, that when your son says he can't find a job, it's because he isn't looking that hard. 
or that when your partner says that they must work late every single night for months, that an affair or other digression is likely. Most important, admit what you might be hiding from your loved ones. Acknowledge your fears, addictions, excuses, and failures honestly and with compassion. Realize that your mind blots out. Your heart knows. And so does everyone else. In other words, when you're in denial, you're only kidding yourself. What your mind blots out, your heart knows. Your divine helpers want you to acknowledge these unpleasant realities because until you do, you'll be stuck with them. Not every unpleasant reality needs to be challenged or changed, however. Sometimes it's best to compromise or let things be. If your partner is generally sloppy, for example, but is otherwise a gem, let it go. However, if your partner is in serious trouble or vice versa, you're only harming yourself and others and perpetuating the problem by denying it. Your divine helper's message? Take off the blinders and be open to the truth about others and yourself. Only then can you learn and grow past problems. Thanks, you guys, Capricorn. I hope you stay tuned in by leaving me a comment or a thumbs up, and please subscribe. Now remember, what goes around comes around, so I'm sending you out love and light and blessings. Thanks for watching.